If you've watched my anti-aging supplement video that I made last year, you'll remember that I listed five anti-aging supplements for longevity and more youthful skin. But today, I'm updating my list of the top anti-aging supplements to include a few more evidence-based anti-aging supplements for the skin according to new data for 2024. And while there are numerous anti-aging supplements out there, only five made it to this list. Keep watching to find out which ones. Hi, I'm Brandon May, an anti-aging enthusiast just like you bringing to you anti-aging research to and vlogs every single week. If anti-aging topics are of interest to you, please consider subscribing down below. I'd love to share this space with you. And please definitely like this video too if you want to see more anti-aging supplement videos like this. Nutrition wields a significant influence over the skin aging process. And dietary supplements have the potential to harness the power of the natural world in effectively stalling, preventing, and potentially reversing some of the visible signs of aging. Additionally, many of these anti-aging supplements provide not only anti-aging benefits for the skin, but these supplements also have evidence Evidence suggesting they're linked to longevity and optimized health span. Now, which evidence-based anti-aging supplements do I use for skin? The number one anti-aging supplement for skin is glycine and NAT. The combination of glycine and NAT in acetylcysteine has been shown in the anti-aging science to have good potential for not only longevity, but also for promoting youthful skin. As such, I've started rotating a glycine and NAC combination supplement in my supplement routine. NAC is a precursor to glutathione. Glutathione represents one of the most abundant anti antioxidants in the body, also known as an endogenous antioxidant. However, a glutathione deficiency is associated with an increase in the hallmarks of aging, including visible aging. Glycine and NAC may help to increase or rev up the production of glutathione in the body and thus play a pivotal role in combating oxidative stress, a key driver in the visible signs of aging. Studies using human skin samples show that NAC in particular may help to increase glutathione production in the epidermis or in the skin. Thus, the researchers suggest that supplementation with NAT may increase the antioxidant capacity of the skin and thereby protect the skin against the oxidative damage induced by ultraviolet radiation or UV. This is incredibly important because ultraviolet radiation from the sun drives 80% up to 90% of the visible signs of aging. Clinical trials also suggest that supplementation with glycine and NAC may help to tamper down on inflammation, which is also a key driver to the inflammaging or the aging process associated with inflammation. The number two anti-aging supplement for the skin on this list is polypodium leukotriene or also commonly known by its brand name, HelioCare. Polypodium leucotomus is a fern extract. Research shows that supplementation with P. leucotomus may help to protect the skin against erythema or sunburn. Thus, this research suggests that P. leucotomus may help to protect against UVB, ultraviolet radiation B, which is the primary driver of a sunburn. UVB also increases oxidative damage, DNA damage, inflammation in the skin, so it's also a key contributor to the visible signs of aging in the skin. However, small studies suggest that P. leucotomus may also protect the skin against UVA. UVA is the predominant form of UV that we receive on our skin. It penetrates the skin deeply and is associated with most of the visible signs of aging on the skin. If you're in a house with large windows, UVA is coming straight through that glass. UVB, not so much. This is why you can sit by a window for eight hours on end and have the sun hitting you and not get a sunburn. So even if you stay indoors forever and you're getting a light exposure from the sun through the windows, you're getting that UVA exposure, which accumulates over time. With respect to the anti-aging benefits of P. leucotomus, one study found that the fern extract, in addition to protecting the skin against sunburn, also inhibited specific enzymes that are induced by UV exposure, as well as overexpressed in photodamaged skin. These enzymes are known as matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs. Specific types of MMPs break down collagen and lead to those visible signs of aging. Another study in skin cells found that P. leucotomus stimulated the production of collagen, particularly types 1, 2, and 5 collagen. A literature review also found consistent evidence that P. leucotomus extract protected against not only UV radiation, but also visible light. Some research suggests that visible light may also induce those MMPs, those enzymes that break down collagen and cause reactive oxygen species or oxidative stress, free radical damage, as well as inflammation. The number three anti-aging supplement for the skin is astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a potent antioxidant that also exhibits anti-inflammatory capabilities. Given its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory power, astaxanthin is a powerful, in my opinion, anti-aging supplement. So much so that I take it on a fairly regular basis almost every day in my krill oil supplement. Omega-3s also being a really potent 
anti-inflammatory, antioxidant rich fatty acid for the skin. The published literature shows that astaxanthin holds promise in not only protecting the skin against the visible signs of aging, but also potentially improving skin texture, tone, clarity, as well as reducing wrinkles in photo aged skin. According to a meta-analysis of nine randomized human studies, supplementation with astaxanthin was associated with significant improvements in skin hydration, as well as improvements in skin elasticity when compared with placebo. This is highly important because moisture as well as elasticity in the skin tend to decline over time, particularly with accumulated exposure to UV and sunlight. So theoretically, improving these markers with astaxanthin may help in just promoting and supporting a younger looking skin. In an animal study, an astaxanthin supplement reduced wrinkle formation and trans epidermal water loss induced by UVA. Other research suggests that astaxanthin supplementation may also help to protect collagen in the skin. Collagen is an integral protein of youthful skin, and astaxanthin may help to protect collagen just via that regulation and inhibition of those matrix metalloproteinases, those MMPs, enzymes that break down collagen. And the number four anti-aging supplement for skin is quercetin. Quercetin is a supplement that I take on a fairly regular rotating basis for not only anti-aging, but overall health as well. Quercetin is a polyphenol found in a variety of fruits and vegetables. I also include in my diet a lot of quercetin rich foods like onions, apple skins, tea. Some research suggests that quercetin contains and possesses anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. And these properties may play a important role in skin rejuvenation and protection. I found one study that showed that quercetin helped to protect against UV mediated MMP production, which prevented collagen degradation in human skin tissues exposed to UV. Additionally, quercetin exhibited potent inhibitory effects against UV induced inflammation. Animal studies have also shown that subcutaneously administered quercetin was associated with increased production of collagen in the skin, increased production of endogenous antioxidants like superoxide dismutase and glutathione peroxidase. And while studies were using a different route of administration for the quercetin that's not typical for oral supplementation, the data do demonstrate the anti-aging potential of quercetin for the skin. Quercetin may also decrease UV-induced inflammation as well as skin cell senescence. And the number five anti-aging supplement for the skin is turmeric, aka curcumin. Curcumin is the active anti-inflammatory component of turmeric. Curcumin has been demonstrated to possess powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds for not only the skin, but the body overall. According to small studies, given curcumin's active anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds, it may be powerful for supporting healthy aging, including protecting the skin against some of the visible signs of aging. For instance, there are some research studies suggesting that curcumin may combat the effects of advanced glycation end products. These aptly named AGEs represent a series of stable compounds that are formed when sugars react to proteins like collagen or even lipids. This process known as glycation contributes to a variety of conditions in the body, but also contribute to the visible signs of aging. Glycation can be accelerated by diet as well as high blood sugar levels. Inflammation and oxidative stress also drive the glycation process. I've discussed glycation and advanced glycation end products on my channel in several videos, but in terms of skin health, these advanced glycation end products can build up in the skin over time and lead to the cross-linking of collagen and elastin fibers. These are crucial proteins necessary for preserving the firmness and the elasticity of the skin. Curcumin, given its anti-inflammatory compounds, may also help to combat what's known as inflammaging or the aging process associated with inflammation. Curcumin, according to several research studies, may help to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress associated with environmental triggers like UV exposure as well as pollution. Also, turmeric or curcumin may increase a group of compounds anti-aging proteins known as sirtuins. Sirtuins are involved in longevity. There's a good amount of research suggesting that they may be linked or implicated in longevity, but sirtuins may also help to protect against extrinsic and intrinsic aging. Curcumin, when combined with piperin or black pepper extract, increases the bioavailability and absorption of curcumin. So for me, when I look for a curcumin supplement, I always make sure to find one that contains piperin or black pepper extract. Or when I add turmeric to my foods, I sprinkle black pepper just to make sure I am increasing that absorption, that bioavailability and absorption. So these are the top five anti-aging supplements for the skin that I've been rotating and taking on a regular basis in my supplement routine, just because of the evidence behind them. I personally would love to see more studies on these supplements and on a lot of anti-aging supplements with larger sample sizes and longer term follow-up. But for now, the data are compelling enough for me to include these in my supplement routine. That being said, if you're curious about my anti-aging supplement routine, the anti
anti-aging supplements that I take for the skin. Check out my video on this exact same topic. I cover this very comprehensively in that video. And those are the top five anti-aging supplements for the skin. Did I miss anything? Are there supplements in this list that you take? What other supplements do you take specifically for skin anti-aging? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button down below. It really helps out my videos a lot and I appreciate it so much. Also, if you are into anti-aging topics, I talk about this pretty much every single day on this channel. So definitely hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here. Thank you for watching. Bye.